Hello everyone, it is July 4th, the morning of July 4th. It is early, but it's still hot already. Um, and I came out to my garden to water it because it is my birthday. And I wanted to get the watering done before open presents and my husband left to get a cake. So I was so excited. I know in previous videos, I showed you my eggplant that A, got devoured by the flea beetles, which sprayed, took care of, didn't see any more flea beetles on them, which is good. Um, but then I had, it had one good eggplant and then I started two more later. They kind of were, in my opinion, hopeless cases that survived, but the one good one, you know, started to flower. And I honestly, I still haven't done any research as to pollination on it um, to see, you know, is it a self pollinator? Does it need another eggplant in order to make babies? Like some things too, like the squash plants, you have a male and a female flower on the same plant, you know, but, and they can pollinate each other. Tomatoes, you just kind of shake them. Um, you don't actually have to have pollinators come and do it. So I wasn't sure what was going to happen with the eggplant. And this morning I came out here and I went, I, I looked and um, you have to see it. It's so super cute. All right, so here was the eggplant that was riddled with flea beetles. You can still see the old damage. It's gotten so much better, so many new leaves. And, but down here is that flower. And look, it actually has a little baby eggplant growing. And there I go with that stupid baby voice. <laughs> so I am super excited to see that. Um, and also while I'm here, I was looking at these, all these cherry tomatoes and like if I get in here, like these look like normal sized cherry tomatoes, but on the same plant down here, like there's some huge, like to me, that's a really big, and I'm not sure if you can see that really big cherry tomato. So going to be interested to see how they turn out. But I'm getting to that point in the garden where things are starting, things are getting ready. I'm actually going to harvest my first butternut squash this morning. Um, I actually did some self-pollination on a couple more. I have four total fruit on this one plant. One is ready to pick. One looks like it might not have been pollinated, so I'll give it another day or two to see if it gets any bigger. And then two, I, I know I pollinated myself, so they are starting to grow, and it, that's so exciting. I have my first zucchini, um, uh, <clears throat> zucchini starting to grow. Um, the pole beans are flowering. I have a cucumber that I can pick. I'm just so excited. This is a time in the garden where you know, magic happens. You know, I even though I've been picking radishes and beets and lettuces, and I've already picked one banana pepper that was not ripe enough. Um, you know, this is the time where we really start getting good harvest and you really, you know, can appreciate all the hard work that you've put into it. And it's also the time where the bugs come out and compete with you though. Those darn Japanese beetles. Um, so, uh, but anyway, so let me wipe the sweat off my face. Actually, a Japanese beetle just blew right by me. Darn things. Anyhow, um, so let me get back to watering my plants so I can go inside and stop sweating. All right, so here I am documenting picking my first cucumber. This is off my straight eight cucumbers. Let me see. Oh, yes. So pretty. Probably could have let it go a little bit longer, but I just don't want it to get too big. Very exciting though. Ah, first, first cucumber. First cucumber ever. I have never, ever, ever grown cucumbers before. So very excited. Mm -hmm. 